Hello, Assalamu alaikum guys and welcome back to another video. It's Ibrahim Muslim and today this video is on ALC audio for the latest motherboards including the Intel 200 series and Intel 100 series, the older one, 9, 8 and 7 series. So the basic software we're going to use today is MultiBeast 9.2. So it's uh, latest MultiBeast and you can download it from the MultiBeast website. I will add a link in the description below. So you have to open the MultiBeast 9.2 and go to the driver section. Here you will find a couple of different options in, and the number one is Realtek ELC XXX. So for the people who don't know about which motherboard have which ELC version, to make it a little clear, the GA series or H87 series of motherboards most of the time have ALC 892, ALC 892, H87, GA from ASUS or Gigabyte or from MSI, most of them have ALC 892. The motherboards with Z97 series have ALC 1150. So Z97 and Z97 Edge or L or anything from ASUS, Gigabyte or MSI, most of the time the probability is it have ALC 1150. And if it it's H97, it might have ELC892. And then come the latest series of motherboards, which is Z170 and Z270. So what you have to do is you have to select ALC1220 for the high-end Z270 series or H270 series motherboard and even in some Z170 series they gave ALC122. If you have a latest 100 series or 200 series motherboard you have to click this as well. So it will add a patch in the Clover configurator file in your config.plst and it will make it work for your 100 and 200 series and then you have to select the ALC depending on your motherboard and you can check your ELC version from your motherboard's company website so if you have any confusion you can just go directly on your manufacturer's website search your motherboard and find which ELC you have in the specification area and ELC 1220A is for ASUS ROCKSTRAX only and then there is an option for 3 port 5.1 audio most of the time the latest motherboards came with 6 pin audio section which means it has 6 audio ports including the input and output ports and sometimes it has 5 audio ports and 1 a digital input output area or sometimes it's separate to that box or a small box with audio ports so if you have a 3 audio port system you have to select 5.1 and then depending on your ELC model you will select this the older ELC 296 and and 283 are mostly for laptops and then these are for the old motherboards and then if you want to enable your HDMI audio you can select this as well and then you can't select the other ones <clears throat> if you select any of this after this you can select HD, HD options for your HDMI else if you change it from here the both options goes so you better select the 100 series optional HDMI and if you are on 1150 you can select this one and then both of these or single 100 and 200 series option then there is also universal voodoo Who hda so basically voodoo Who is a special software which works m on almost every audio output there but it does not give you that amount of accessibility and features that alc gave you real tech alc so if you have a problem running the alc then you can use voodoo Who hda but it will just give you mostly two or three ports at max and you have to set different settings for this as well so after for example if you have alc 892 like me at the moment of uh, this one what you have to do is enable this as well so i will select alc892 optional hd3000 hd4000 hdmi audio my motherboard is not 100 series and 200 series at the moment so i will select these two and i will go and build and i will select my hard drive where i installed the os is and then i will go and click install agree and I will add my password. So after installing the ELC, depending on your motherboard, what you have to do is one more thing. You have to open your Clover Configurator meanwhile, and you have to mount your current drive or your EFI partition. Once the EFI partition is mounted, you have to go to the config.plst, and there you have to go into the devices section, and here you have to add one under the audio. So basically, I'm here in devices, and then you have to add one under the audio if you don't add one here your ELC audio will not work 
So there are like very high chances of the ELC audio not working if you have not selected one in the Clover Configurator Devices section. So after doing this, you can restart your computer for to check if the audio works and if for some cases there is a problem with the multi-beats, then you can use the ELC 1150 fix and I will add the link in the description flow for this file so you can download this file and open it. Sometimes there is a permission error for this file so there is a better way to get this thing working. You have to open your EFI folder and copy this file here. file is in KB so there is no thinking of if the EFI folder, EFI partition have enough space. Copy the file there and then it off for the password for your system. You have to mount your EFI partition before this otherwise it will give you an error of EFI not mounted and then you have to press enter. Now it will ask you which ELC you have. So it works for almost different ELC like confirm a Realtek ELC 892. It also works for different 1150 and ELC 882 or 888 and different ELC versions. So you have to press yes if it's telling you the right ELC and it says audio ID injection and you say yes and use audio ID 1 and you say yes and it says it's been uh, downloading the ELC file and it directly downloads from the internet and it directly installs the patch into your system and it works better than the multi beast sometimes but sometimes multi beast multi beast gets the handover and multi beast is faster in working so it mostly depends on your system configuration so that's how you get different ELC versions working on your Hackintosh and if you still have any question query please feel free to ask in the comments below and I will be very glad to answer your question and I hope you like share and subscribe and if you like the video give it a thumbs up as well so I get an idea how good I am doing and until the very next video please take care Allah Hafiz